Hey guys, so last time I was talking about types of mutations and we were covering chromosome rearrangement. And what we talked about was the first part of chromosome rearrangement, that's duplication. And if you need to watch that video, I'll put a link in the description. But there's a couple of parts I left off when it comes to duplication and that's what I want to cover right now. The first one is segmental duplication and that's what happens when the duplication is more than 1,000 base pairs in length. And this is the majority of what you're going to see is when you have over 1,000 base pairs, and base pairs are, you know, your amino acids, or not your amino acids, your things that code for the amino acids, so your ad adenine, guanine, cysteine, or thymine. And uh, what you're going to see for your duplications, you're going to either see that they're going to be on the same chromosome, or they're going to be duplicating to different chromosomes. So if you have one chromosome, and it duplicates on the same chromosome, that's going to be your intra-chromosomal duplication. And if it's duplicating on a different one, that's when you're going to see your interchromosomal. So inter is between, so between chromosomes. This is your interchromosomal duplication. And this is a this next one is a pretty short, but it's we're going to talk about deletion, which is another type of chromosome rearrangement. So deletion, deletion is literally just a loss of a segment. And uh, it's easily detected because your chromosome is going to be noticeably shorter. So you'll have something like A, B, C, D, E, F, and it will literally be this length. So it'll be this long. And your next one, after the, the deletion happens, let's say we cross out the C and D. It's going to be A, B, E, F, E, F, and it will only be this long. So you'll be able to visually see that this one is shorter than the last one. So let's give a line there. So it's significantly shorter than the one that it was from which it was copied. So this is what we call deletion, loss of a segment. And the effects of deletion, it kind of depend on location. So there really is a, there's a bunch of different conditions that you can see, you know, depending on which chromosome, which part of this chromosome it's deleted from. But the one real important one I want you to focus on is if, if the centromere is involved, if the thing that's connecting the two of them is involved, so if that little dot in between your chromosome is involved, if this green dot, I'm going to put it right here, if that is in there, you can't really see that very well. Let's try a different color. There we go. If your, if your um, centromere is deleted in the process of deletion, then you're not going to be able to replicate that gene. So that could be an entire loss of a chromosome because the centromere was deleted. And this can lead to, uh, yeah, and I should, I should add that many of these are lethal then. If this happens, like the centromere is gone, it's, it's lethal for the most part. So there's two basic things I want you to focus on, and that's the first one is pseudodominance. So for pseudodominance, let's imagine that we had, you know, one recessive and then one dominant trait. So if this person has, let's say, just a capital A, which is for yellow hair, or blonde hair, and then let's say, for some odd reason, they had green hair, but that was this one is recessive. And this one is dominant. So I'm going to give that one a plus and a minus. Now let's say that during this process, the dominant trait is deleted. So what happens then is we just have this A gene, which will mean your child will have green hair even though he was dominant for blonde hair. So that's what happens when you have pseudodominance. It's not really that color. Now another, another example of this is called haploinsufficient. And that's when you have something that, let's say, we need, we have, let's say, two, two blonde, two blonde genes. But unfortunately, for this person to be, show that it's blonde, for him to actually have a, um, sorry, a phenotype, a, show, a showable trait that he's blonde, you need both of them. But let's say one of the blondes gets deleted. So this one is crossed off he's not going to be able to express his phenotype, I'm sorry, he's not going to be able to express his genotype into a phenotype because he doesn't have enough of that gene to create whatever it takes for him to have blonde hair. 
So that's what you're going to see in haploinsufficient. So just a quick review. What we've covered, we've covered segmental duplication. That's anything longer than 1,000 base pairs in length. Intra-chromosomal, same chromosome. Inter, in-between chromosomes. So that's different. Deletion is just a loss of a segment. Can be lethal if the centromere is involved. And pseudodominance is when your dominant trait is not expressed because it's deleted and your recessive trait is expressed. And haploinsufficient when the trait isn't expressed because one of the traits got deleted. So on the next video, we'll cover the next part of your chromosome rearrangement.